judge, today's case is to the left. When I saw this couple's paperwork, I got so confused, I called in an expert. Let's see if he can help me out. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toler presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Tonisha Hamilton and Theotis Polk. The two of you have been together for 10 years, married for five years in Islam, and I want you to talk to me about that in a moment. But um, we're thinking this thing may not survive. We're not quite sure. Ms. Ms. Hamilton, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here in divorce court today? Okay, uh, so me and Theotis, we have been married for five years. We've been together for 10 years. And uh, I actually converted into Muslim for him. Mm hmm So if he don't get his stuff together, then I'm gonna leave him. Well, what's wrong with his stuff? Well, actually, uh, around the time 2014, I thought everything was gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. You know, he wasn't gonna... I mean, he was gonna... It was gonna be the perfect marriage. And so... Uh, around that time, he started cheating, talking to females on Facebook. I was going through his phone one day, I caught it, and w once I broke up with him, he started talking to another woman. Mm -hmm. This one day, I was coming over to his house, and the lady, the lady that he was talking to was there, and she actually engaged in a fight with me. So I actually had to fight this girl because she didn't want to be... She wanted to be with him, mm -hmm. but he still wanted to be with me. Was he there when the fight broke out? Yes, he was there. It was so embarrassing. He didn't even... He didn't check her. He didn't put her in her place. Like... You didn't he, separate the ladies? Man, look. Calm me down. Like, TJ, come, come, come get your woman. She beating up on the girl. So I run downstairs. I'm like... Okay, now, baby, come on now. I push her up the stairs. My problem it wasn't to do anything to her or say nothing to her. My problem was to get her upstairs and get that situation. Now, which her upstairs? Her upstairs my or wife, other yes. her? No, uh, I'm not pushing her upstairs now. Well, yeah. Were you with the other lady? No. We just had a little physical thing. So you did cheat with her? <laughs> it, it was just a little physical thing. That, that ain't... That was, and then it was, at, it was at a time where I was new to all of this. So I wasn't equipped to... New to all of what? Marriage and being in a real, real relationship. Relationship, yeah. Because before her, before meeting her, I didn't have no real relationship. So you were just... Diddy dally. Out and feel? about, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. when I got with her, I had to adjust to that. I didn't adjust as quickly as I was supposed to, but I did adjust. Now, the incident that she's talking about, I separated them, but... The girl, the girl knew her role and with her so exclusively. So the side chick knew, and she knew the side. She wasn't chick. even necessarily a side chick. She was just a. Well, you said she knew her role. role. She knew her role, like she she knew who she was. She knew that she was my woman. We was broken up, so oh, I let that be. I, see. I, I let that be. I, I was like, all right, we can separate. We can work on ourselves or whatever. But I, I just let that be. So whoever I messed with at the time, it wasn't that much of a big deal to me because it so was... So were you yeah. broken up at the time? Your Honor, yeah, we were broken up, but my thing is, if you're... If, if you say you love me and you took initiative steps to make me your wife, I should have been the main focus. You, you should have been thinking about how you're going to make this relationship or marriage work with me instead of trying to go find somebody else. <laughs> to, thank you. To, you know, why did with. you break up at the time? Was it was it over the cheating thing in general? It was because of uh, Facebook, him telling girls that he want girls to come over, right, all of that. Right. And I feel like I, you know, I converted. I did a big step on converting into Muslim for him and with him. And it was like a slap in the face, you know, that I he, did all this for you yeah. and you can't even stay home. Yeah. After I fought her, he didn't tell her like, hey, yeah, this is who I want to be she with. Whatever we, he didn't. He didn't. If she did, she wouldn't have fought me. That was her so, problem. Like, she felt the type of way because I wouldn't be with her exclusively and I was only with you. She felt some type of way that she couldn't get all of this. What? <laughs> that was her. That ain't my, that ain't my fault. But you, you still... You, you, you know, it talk... is your fault. Let me tell you why, Mr. Yes, Polk. Thank you. If a guy is with two different women, anything that happens as a function thereof is his fault because he made the decision to do that. All she right, didn't bring that. the woman over there. You did. Okay. You know what I'll I'm saying? That. So let me ask you this. You say you think that she needs to know more about Islam and that she's not learning. Why don't you tell me, talk to me about that? Well, she's very open-minded. And I mm -hmm. try to tell her how things are supposed to be and how things should go. But with me doing that, it also contradicts me as a man because I don't necessarily believe everything that the Islamics 
how they treat their women necessarily. Like, uh-huh. Uh, I see what you're saying. Love, you been, would like to do it 50-50. Yeah, because... But what does she need to know about Islam that she does not know at this juncture that you feel would assist the two of you? That sometimes, although I love the playing field between us, she needs to learn how to take the back seat a little bit sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, like, uh, 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 just the other day, we was, we, was, we was on our way out here, and then I took some money off of my card. I asked her for my card number, took some money off of my card. I didn't tell her what I was doing or how I was doing or what I was doing it for. I did that, then she asked why. I told her why. Oh, I'm gonna get some money. Then she asked how, why. Now I'm being, I'm getting agitated because mm -hmm. now you question me and the way you question me makes you feel like. Like I'm a kid. Like, yeah, what you, you don't trust that me. money for, yeah. Right, exactly. He's not so, responsible. Well, with, with her doing that, <laughs> with her doing that, it's like, okay, first of all, I mean, we put our money together, so what's mine is yours and what's yours is mine. But this is my side of what I'm bringing to the table. Mm -hmm. And it's not like I'm taking this money and I'm doing selfish things with it, like going to buy me some stuff. But well, what were you doing with it? I brought it home to, the, to, to us. Oh, just so, so, yeah. so you had some cash on hand. Exactly. So now, now Ms. Hamilton, are you riding the man? Do you not, not, you know, are you always... At him picking? No, I don't. I don't pick. I just think the communication is not where it needs to be as far as if we marry. Uh, I think when you when you doing decisions as far as financial or money or anything, I feel like you need to consult with your partner with that because we go 50-50 on all the bills. We do everything as far as the bills. He sometimes he's um he's irresponsible with money. So I'm just trying to figure out is give is me an example right of a time when right he was pay. irresponsible with the money. Yeah, one day he got paid. The first thing he did was to go buy some weed. Like he was just thirsty. Like he was thirsty, thirsty to go buy some weed. Now, not saying like we had money, all the bills was taken care of and everything. But he could have been like, he could have told me. He don't tell me things. He just do things without consulting. It's not me trying to act like he's a kid, even though I am older than him. But it's the fact that. <laughs> that was aggressive. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I, when, when, you, when your paperwork said you were married in Islam, yeah. but not legally married under the laws of the U.S., I got somebody, I brought somebody who knew more about it. You said that you've been together 10 years and that you've been married for five years. This is not a, a marriage. When, when, you, when your paperwork said you were married in Islam, yeah. but not legally married under the laws of the U.S., I got somebody, I brought somebody who knew more about it than I did. Okay. So I have Imam Bilal Ali, so I don't speak out of school. <laughs> Hello, sir, how hey, are you? I'm great. So he says he's married in Islam, why don't you tell me, just give me the broad strokes of how uh, Islam looks at the business of marriage. In Islam, it says uh, marriage is half of the faith and that you fear God with the other half. Based on what I heard, this is not an Islamic marriage. This is not a, a marriage. And the reason I say this, I think that the problem here, both of you are talking and you're not listening. Marriage coming to people's lives to make them better. I heard her say that she became Muslim because of you. In Islam, it says, that there's no compulsion in religion, that you can't force someone to be part of the religion. She only knows Islam based on what you taught her. Mm -hmm. And if you're teaching her to go to the clubs, if you're teaching her to be like the homeboys in the street, you don't have a marriage, man. Right. You have, you, you know what I'm saying? Regarding marriage, it's a union. But you have to hear her, you see? This relationship, you said that you've been together 10 years and that you've been married for five years. What progress have you made? The question that I have, if you had an Islamic marriage, one, you will go according to the principle of Islam, that you hear and listen to each other to work out the problems that you have. You work out the problems that you have based on the books. So my advice to you, is that you have to start implementing Islam more in your life, and she will follow. Mm-hmm. You're right. Plain and simple. Yeah, you're right. 
that was a wonderful explanation, not solely within your religion, but we could all yeah. listen to that. I mean, as far as what progress have you made? Have you listened? Yeah. My job is to make you better. Your job, wonderful. I'm so glad you came. I don't know what to do. Thank yes. You. Thank you so very much. Thank you. We appreciate it. Let me, let me, let me, I'm gonna ask you one more thing about that. When you say you're married in Islam, do you know what it's about? Yeah. Do you, do, do you practice it? Do you? Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't eat pork. I do Ramadan. I do mo mo majority of the things. You, you're misunderstanding me. And I, it, it, it's not a, a Muslim thing. It's, it, it, it's a religion thing. People will, will adopt the trappings of religion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They'll go to uh, church on Sunday. They stop eating pork. They don't mm -hmm. eat during Ramadan. But the Quran is full of things about what you should do every day, mm -hmm. how you conduct yourself. It, it is a religion that is often firmly in, entrenched in how we treat one another. Mm -hmm. Y'all can't even talk to one another. No, we can't. That's, that's that smart. is a whole lot. Thank if you. If you're a Muslim, that's a whole lot. If you're a Christian, that's a whole lot. If you're an adult, that's a whole lot. That's part of the problem. Everybody thinks that's nothing. It's huge. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. I mean, I know it's a lot of stuff that I'm not doing that I'm supposed to be doing in the Muslim, in the Muslim culture. I think as long as I try to be my best and be as good and, and practice it as good as I can, because we all make mistakes. Some of the things that I'm doing, um, like tattoos and stuff, that's not in the... You're not supposed to tattoo your body and stuff like that, so... But you're talking about things, not beliefs and desire. You're talking about stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, am I supposed to do something on Friday and not on a Saturday? That's just stuff. Re real religion is in the tenets about how you, what your spirit is mm -hmm. and how you behave. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that you're reading those parts. You're reading the stuff parts, but you're not getting the, the centeredness out of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, like, I feel like some things um, in, the, in the Quran I, I try to do, especially with the spiritual thing, like when people nasty, it, it says something about like when people nasty to you, you know, just still be yourself and still treat them with kindness. Even though, you know, they doing you wrong, you don't do them wrong. And you just That's told me not thing. two minutes ago that you you speak to him all poppy because you know that if you did it to him, exactly. you'd be mad. Yeah. Exactly. So that's contrary to that. You, you, you talk about things that you know are in there, but you don't practice them. Then, I try. No, 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 I don't think you even know how to try. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I don't think you know how. The first thing you have to do to do anything like that is act in opposition to how you feel. Mm -hmm. That's what the, all of the books are about. Everybody wants to be angry. Everybody wants to be, you know what I mm -hmm. mean? But you have to act, you, this is what I want. I want to yell at him, but it doesn't do any good, so I'm not exactly. gonna. Exactly. You see what I'm... What, That's what I do sometimes. See what I'm it's a, it's a, I don't. It's sometimes. a lot of That's a learner. That's how I feel on the inside. I really don't be one to, but it'd be like, dang. I... You don't have any idea what I'm talking about. I mean, not a clue. Um, and I, I don't know where I'm going to go with this. <laughs> I'm lost in the sauce of trying to educate you. You have to be a better emotional manager in order to be a good wife, a good Muslim, or a good anybody. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you're a good emotional manager. You probably ain't one either. No, I'm not. I ain't going to sit here and say But you're that. not going to argue with me about it. She will. <laughs> No, it ain't. This, this, is, this is how I'm... Oh, I said he's not a good emotional manager, but he's not arguing with me, and that's true. Okay. He's not a good emotional manager. You don't even listen. <laughs> you disagreed with what I said, which was exactly what you said. In order to be in a relationship with anybody, you first have to be well-centered and solid within yourself. 
if you're not well-centered and solid within yourself, anything that he does, good, bad, or otherwise, is gonna throw you all over the place. Mm -hmm. And I think that you need to look inward a bit more as opposed to outward. I don't know if this relationship is gonna last or not. Mr. Polk, I know you were doing the wrong thing. I don't think you really know what Islam is about or any religion. I think that you... <laughs> No, I mean, you I know do. what I mean? Like, it, I, I practiced it for a while. Yeah, then, yeah, you, you, no, you practice it, you don't eat, you know. No, not even that. It was, I was, I was deeply into, into, into the Quran. I was deeply into it. I was reading it a lot. I was trying to learn as much as I can. Was the side chick into it, too? Nah, nah. She ain't had nothing to do with nothing. It, she wasn't that important to me to bring her in or anything I like can't that. Be... But you shared your body with her, though. Exactly. That and I can't nothing. be that important. That, that's, that's that small... is a whole lot. Thank if you. If you are a Muslim, that's a whole lot. Thank if you're you. a Christian, that's a whole lot. If you're an adult, that's a whole lot. That's part of the problem. Everybody thinks that's nothing. It's not nothing. It's huge. It is. It's absolutely the most vulnerable, mm -hmm. the most... I mean, you can pass along diseases, some of which cannot be cured. You can create a life. This is a huge, huge, it huge thing. It's not something to do when Netflix doesn't have nothing on. And, Your Honor, you can see... <laughs> as you can see, Your Honor, even with sex, the girl was going crazy over sex, and she tried to fight me. So, obviously, sex is something, because if that was all that they had, and she was going crazy trying to fight me... Yeah, yeah. It's never like that anyway. It is it was like that. No, it wasn't. She was beating up on her. She had feelings for you. She uh, technically she beat her up. <laughs> if she had Listen, feelings for I'm me, so that's her angry, problem. Tired Not and I confused. I just want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> now what? You wanted money from him? You're not gonna leave him. You want two hundred and fifty dollars for a pair of shoes? Oh, what you Lord. talking about? Yeah, come on. Oh no. What yes, you I talking do. about? What you talking about? Yes, yes, you well, about it. Tell because those shoes food. was expensive. Those shoes was expensive and he let his brother, he sold them to his brother because I guess they ain't have them in his size or something. That is just rude no, and see, disrespectful. Why, why They're I... your shoes? No, I bought them for him. They was the $250. Mm -hmm. we, first of all, y'all can't afford that kind of, those shoes, $250. At that time, yeah, I could. No, you couldn't. Look, <laughs> what had happened to the shoes? <laughs> no, what, what, what had happened to the shoes? Say, say nothing further. Once you give a gift to somebody that is no longer yours, it belongs to them, he can light it on fire, he can throw it in the ocean, he can give it away, he can tear it up because they belong to him. That's what, the, what a gift is. So you have no ongoing claims to it. You can't get $250 back. What I would suggest for the two of you to do is to stop being pretend Islamic married mm -hmm. and go home, get some education, go, do some growing up, you know, separate for a while, figure out who you are as people, and then once you've done that, and once you've come to some kind of solid center and understanding about who you are and what you need to do and where you need to be, you know, then get back together. But whatever you do, don't ever come back here. <laughs> <laughs> there will be no recovery in this Judge Lynn had a lot to say today. I mean, she was a little confused, but she had a lot to say. What's your reaction on how things uh, went down? Uh, I think she made some good points. Uh, it's some stuff that we need to work on, but she hit some keynotes. Judge Lynn pretty much told you guys that you need to separate. Um, separating, that ain't gonna work because last time we separated, we both did stuff that we didn't approve on. Mm -hmm. So uh, now we just gotta keep looking forward and try to make things better.